After three months, I'd given up ever seeing any member of that search party back alive. Half alive, Major. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Santa V. Welcome back. Don't you recognize me? I'm Major Lefebvre, your commanding officer. We're happy to have you back at the outpost again. But where are the others? Where's Captain Mirage? Mirage? Yes, you know, your friend. Boss, that out now. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, John Lefebvre. That's right. Now I remember. Everything. What's the matter, Lieutenant? What are you looking for? Blood. What, what blood? His blood. Tell me, what happened to him? I killed him. I killed him! I've told you over and over, I killed Morange. What more can any man do than confess? You can answer our questions calmly, Lieutenant. I have answered your questions. Don't you believe me? This board of inquiry will believe facts only. Sit down, Lieutenant. I have asked Captain Meunier, our geographical expert down from Algiers. He will assist in establishing the facts of the case. Now, on the plane this morning, I jotted down some notes. Now, I start with the origin of the name Atlantis. Atlantis? What's he talking about? Just a moment, Captain. Lieutenant Santa Vite, where is it you say you killed Captain Morange? In Atlantis. Atlantis, the lost continent. That fairy tale? You forget, Colonel. Every fairy tale has a basis of truth. Now, if I may be permitted <laughs> to read from Atlantis. my notes. We all know that if it ever did exist, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Correct, Colonel. But what is the Sahara other than the floor of some forgotten ocean? The white particles of sand are the hard shells of sea life disintegrated by the suns of the centuries. You believe then that Atlantis could be situated in the Sahara? Of course. There's no doubt that once such a place as Atlantis existed. Already Plato tells us it disappeared into the sea. But gentlemen, what sea? Yes, Atlantis could be hiding in the Saharas. It is a perfect hiding place. It must be. No one's ever found it. <laughs> Not some found it. Who? Francois Marchand, the famous archaeologist. He passed through the outpost here on his way to... Are you referring to the expedition that Captain Mirage and Lieutenant saint -Vite were sent out to find? Exactly. A very clever man, Marsan, but I cannot agree with his exaggerated theories on Atlantis. Exaggerated? But Marsan was right. I know. I was there. Well, if what you say is true, Lieutenant, I envy you. You are the only white man in a thousand years who's been so fortunate. No. I met many others in Atlantis. If I may ask, Lieutenant, where did you find Atlantis? In the Hoggard. The Hoggard Mountains? I've been there. They're rock, solid rock. Cannot be penetrated. No, sir. There is a passage, and Masson found it. He knew he would. He said so. One night, we were all celebrating his departure into the unknown. to that intrepid archaeological sleuth of the desert, François Masson! François! Oh, we find that fabled land where there once dwelt the fairest and noblest race of men. That land which, according to Plato, in a single day and night of rain disappeared and vanished into the sea, the lost Atlantis. Oh, 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 oh. Which doesn't exist. <laughs> and the queen, gentlemen, Masson's queen, let's not forget her. A toast to the queen, to that fabled offspring of Neptune, descendant of Caesar and Cleopatra, who, according to Masson, is older than antiquity 
I'm younger than tomorrow's dog. Mm. To the Queen of Atlantis! Queen of Atlantis! Who doesn't exist? But if she does exist, for a mustn't seek below, may she be for all her years still the most beautiful, the most seductive, the most voluptuous woman in the world. <laughs> I still see myself sitting in my room and watching from my window Marson's sprawling camp set up just outside the walls of the outpost. At dawn they broke camp and I watched Marson's caravan move out over the hot white sands of the desert. later, Major Lefebvre ordered a search party. There were six of us, Captain Morange and myself, a guide of the Chamba tribe, and three legionnaires. It was a peaceful, uneventful journey for three days. The sky was so clear, it looked hollow. But then, the mood of the desert changed suddenly, without warning. The hot wind fell down upon us. For what seemed like an eternity, we fought our way against the fury of a blinding sandstorm. Finally, the storm stopped. The sand became quiet. Our search party had been hopelessly scattered. That night, Morange and I camped at the foot of the Hagar Mountains. And the deep silence of the canyon was broken. The rocks seemed to become alive with shadows, human shadows.
Andre. Are you all right, Andre? We are. How did we get here? Or is this just a dream? This is not a dream. No, gentlemen, you are not dreaming. Captain Morange, Lieutenant St. we have been expecting you. Where are we? Don't you know? You're in that land your friend Masson talked about, dreamed about. The land you laughed about. The land from which no traveler returned. Atlantis. I bid you welcome. Your quarters are being made ready for you. In the meantime, may I invite you into mine? This is Le Mage, gentlemen. Only one of a weird assortment of individuals you'll meet here in Atlantis. We all are scattered souls from ill-fated expeditions, tossed up by the sandy waves of the Sahara into the mountainous heights of the Hogar. The statue of Masson. Yes. Does that mean that he is dead? Very much so. And how did he die? Later, gentlemen. Later. It's been reported to the Queen that you are extremely handsome. You must not disappoint her. You will find water and the necessary equipment to clean up on the table there. Queen. So Masson found everything he expected. Even perhaps a little more. But you must see the Queen. My vocabulary is incapable of describing her. For the moment, know only that her name is Antenea. That is description enough. Gentlemen, please, your water will be getting cold. A great improvement, gentlemen. Where but in the Sahara can water be of such importance? But please sit down. May I offer you some arak? Oh, a fine host I am. I've even forgotten to introduce myself. I am Blaze, the court librarian, the court philosopher, or the court anything intellectual that takes my fancy. I am the most fortunate of men. The Queen admires my mind and not my body. I lack the um, appeal but I'm very healthy. We wish to know of Masson, he was our friend. Then we will drink to him. Why did he die? Why? In Atlantis, the queen has the power of life and death. One does not question it. She murdered him. Murdered? One might take the viewpoint that he is more alive now, encased in gold, than he ever could have been in life, exposed to the ravages of time and decay. Encased in... And that is not a statue. It is... Yes. It is Masson himself. Perhaps I spoke too frankly. However, one cannot be too sensitive in Atlantis. Captain Morange will learn that sooner or later. The mage, look after him. Two newcomers, Nimson. Rather moody guests, to be sure, but still new faces. Bid the lieutenant welcome to our little circle. Has she seen him? There is a matter of choice this time. And both handsome, eh, Lindstrom? He drinks too much, Arak. Today again, she did not call for me. Two months already. It will kill you, Lindstrom. Who is he? A Swede in love. Fellows fight? The 
winner will enter Antonaire's guard. It's considered a truly great honor here to be near the Queen, Captain Marange. And the uh, loser? He will be buried with honor. What more efficient way could be devised to find the best man, eh, Captain? A bodyguard of killers. Very fitting. But a very resolute group. I have not forgotten Massol. When I come back. When you come back, no one ever escapes from Atlantis. Antonia. Oh, go to sleep, Lindstrom. How can we celebrate with that dreary mumble going on? She will not see me. Why should she? A queen should spare herself such a sight. Look at yourself. Back so soon. This is Corto, the toneless alchemist of Atlantis. The figures you saw in the corridor are his masterpieces. Once he charmed the Queen's recitations of Dante and Shakespeare. But now he is content to play a very quiet game of chess with her. How was the Queen's game tonight, Corto? You must excuse his reticence. The Queen had his tongue. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Congratulations. Egerly will lead you to paradise. The Queen has sent her favorite bodyguard for you. Hurry, hurry. I shall drink to you. I shall drink to this night. Let me excuse you. Go on. Excuse him. All that is left for Lindstrom is this. This is his real love. I'll attend to this.
She looks dangerous, but she's not. Not if you please her. You see? She stopped growling already. Sit down. Sit down. The Queen commanded. Antinea demands it. Why are you so quiet, Lieutenant? Are you afraid of me? No. Aren't you? Men have died for me. I know. Marson was my friend. Oh, don't feel sorry for him. He was a very lucky man. All his dreams were fulfilled, I assure you. He found oblivion in my arms, till my time for loving him was over. Then, one night, my name upon his lips. He died. You think I am to blame, don't you? You are wrong. I wonder if Captain Morange would be more understanding. Morange wouldn't even have come here. His dreams are something you wouldn't understand. Very interesting. Very interesting. Don't pretend to hate me. Desire is as bright as the sun. Don't pity him, Cotto. His life has been exciting. And because of you, Cotto, his body need not turn to dust. He will stand with my song and all the others forever in eternal life.
was only a child when the Tuaregs raided my village and brought me here. I wish I could go back to my people. Maybe you will, Tanitzirka. Maybe we'll go together. Why was he killed, Tanitzirka? He wanted to go back and tell the secrets that he found here. They killed him. The wisdom and justice of the ancients. How could she live? The Tuaregs love her. They're as cruel as she is. I'm not going. Have you lost your mind, Andre? Answer me. Have you lost your mind? Jean. Remember back at El Golia? When we used to talk about our secret ambitions. Yours was to enter a monastery. It still is. But you haven't yet achieved it. Mine was less noble, maybe. Perhaps a little more human. I found mine here. In Atlantis. Atlantis. What you really found here is a barbaric tribe, ruled over by a primitive woman, a murderess, who would... That's a lie! She rules over primitive people, yes. But for them, death has not the same meaning as for us. Some of our comrades did die at their hands. But the others died of, of love, Andre. No. One does not die of, of love. That's what I used to think, too. I also thought Atlantis was a fable. Remember? I used to laugh at Marson, at his dreams. I used to believe only in the most evident the most material things. It's rather strange that I should have to tell you who studied for the priesthood that there are other things than the ones we see. Yes, Andre. There are other things. But they have no relationship to savagery. Who knows which are the savage? Yes, Jean, I'd rather stay here, among the savages, and be buried in the rocks of the Hagar Mountains Yes, I prefer that. Yes, I prefer that. And be buried in the moldy little cemetery of Duras, in the presence of my indifferent relatives, and with the hypocritical oration of the colonel of the garrison. All right, Andre. That's the way you feel about it. Escape is possible, and I know that it is. I'm going back. Andre, we've been through a lot together. Don't you think... I'm sorry, Jean. I'm staying. I will send you back to your peaceful little town by the river. I could, you know. But here, Andre, you're allowed to name your paradise. All that is required is that you name it. 
Your eyes saw threats. Name it. I will. Because it's a name like music. Music from hell or from heaven, I don't know, I don't care. Until here. Everything is ready, Captain. Are you sure, Tad Sergey, that you can trust this Ben Hairs, huh? I'm sure, but we must hurry. Attempting to escape from Atlantis. You have lost your manners as well as your sense, Captain. You should kneel before a queen. Queen? Kneel! Is this your proof of being queen? Why did you attempt to escape? The air in this place. It's unhealthy. Too many men have died from it. You could not persuade Lieutenant Santavit to join you? No. He's already caught the disease. He's forgotten he is a soldier. And a man. You consider it the part of a soldier and a man to cause the death of my little slave by dragging her into your stupid plot? Tanitaka. You've killed her. Tanitaka! You see, Captain, I am not as evil as you think. Egali, what is the greatest crime a Tuareg can commit? Betrayal. What is the punishment for men who betray their lords? Buried alive in the rock. And women? Sent to the slow fire. <laughs> oh, no, Antonius. No! Feed on death, don't you? You're cursed with the joy of killing. You're sustained only by the beauty that you find in your mirror. But I look into your eyes, and what I see there is ugliness. Stop! A soul merciless and cruel. A heart withered and evil. Twisted and decayed like the root of an ancient tree. 
Wrapped and sheathed in your gold, you're as old and as dead as the mummied queens who lie in their sepulchres from whom you claim your heritage. Whatever is near you... Eddie! ...is near death. Perhaps you're right, Captain Mirage. Whoever is near me is near death. Yes. Even you, who have refused to be near me. You are not happy tonight, are you, Andre? Is it Morange again? Won't you let him go? To come back and destroy us? I have done enough in sparing his life. For that I'm grateful. What if I hadn't? You would not have forgiven me, would you? Probably not. I see. Antonia, what is it? Suddenly you... you seem... different. Different? How am I different? I don't know. I... <laughs> I feel like a man watching a ship sail away from him. Doesn't seem to move, and yet, soon, it will be gone over the ridge of the sky. You're imagining too much. Am I? No, Andre. I fear you're not. I wish I could be sure. Sure? Of you. Of us. But somehow, I am not. Not any longer. A shadow has come between us. I wish you were not there, for your sake. And my own. Antony is as merciless as you think. You wouldn't be alive now after your attempt to escape. Feared your life because you are my friend. And yet... Is that the reason, Andre? Are you sure she has no more personal reason? Jean! Oh, don't laugh, Andre. This woman is... Ah, Captain Morange, here you are. Aunt Tenere wishes you to come to her at once. Egalet will guide you. Now we shall learn the real reasons. Hmm. Handsome man, eh, Lieutenant? The way he carries himself. I dare say he could break a woman's heart. But why confine his capabilities? Perhaps even captivate a woman without a heart. Eh, Lieutenant? Yes, there certainly is something about him.
a bad move. I like you so much better now that you don't talk. But you still think, don't you? Too bad. For thoughts are things. And your thoughts are vile, hideous. Stop hating me, Otto. Your hatred is making you old and ugly. I won't like you when you're old and ugly. I want you to remain as you are. As you were when we first met. Remember, Otto. Why won't you see me? I have a little more arak, Lieutenant. We will drink just enough to remember what is delightful and forget what is troublesome. Ten days. I haven't seen her for ten days. Why? We both know why, don't we, Lieutenant? <laughs> remember Lindstrom? Lindstrom? Why? Well, Antonaire, Morange, Morange, Antonaire. No. No, Morange is my friend, indeed. And you are his friend. You pleaded eloquently for the life of your friend. <laughs> Perhaps a little too eloquently. The last few times I've been in the Queen's chambers, I observed your friend enjoying the fruits of your eloquence. In a manner startling, in a man so reserved. Where are you lying? He is not with her, you are lying. Please, Lieutenant. Why should I lie? Listen now. Oh. 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 
Let him go. Chosen a strange time for visiting Santa Vit and a strange mood. I despise violence. There was a time when I didn't have to use force to see you. Times change. Do you think you're the only person in Atlantis whose company I can enjoy? Where is he? Who? No one that I know is here. Now I understand why you haven't allowed me to see you for so long. No. Andre, you are consumed with jealousy. Perhaps in his quarters. Who knows? You have been seeing him. You do love him. I remember the day when you begged me to spare his life. Do you regret it? Do I have regret? When you have drunk of love and jealousy, it leaves in your mouth a taste of hate and death. You've been drinking, Andre. I think you better go. Why am I being kept a prisoner? Prisoner? Sagir! You are free to go back to your quarters, Captain Morange. Go. You are free. I don't steal from a friendly woman's love. But there's one thing you don't know. You don't know I've found you out. Yes! Don't be impatient. You'll soon find out. Lieutenant Santavi, good news. Your friend has returned. He's back. for a few words. Jean. Why do you keep calling me Jean? Why not? It's your name. It's a nice name. A friendly name. Jean. I like it. Tinea seems to like it, too. What? Had a nice game of chess? Jean? 
Arrakis. 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 Arrakis.
I remember the living. What is it, Agali? Lieutenant Santavit. He's gone. He's escaped. No one escapes from Atlantis. Find him, Egali. Bring him back. Major Lefebvre and Dr. Cousin were standing over me. Do you have any questions before we dismiss Lieutenant Sanity? Very well. Lieutenant Ferrier, yes, accompany Lieutenant Sanity to his quarters. When I heard what Lieutenant Sardavit had to say, I was hopeful. And now? Now? I'm certain now, gentlemen, that we have been listening to a mirage. The Lieutenant, there's a sick man. An Atlantis in the Hogar Mountains. Many have searched for such a passage. It does not exist. An Atlantis of marble halls. Golden rooms. No. If Atlantis does exist, it is a dusty skeleton of its past glory. There would be only ruins. <laughs> and the queen. Orientals do not accept women as men's equals. So it would be strange indeed if they allowed a woman to rule them. Even such a woman as... As Antonia. <laughs> <laughs> One believed my story. 
they refuse to believe that hidden high in the mountains of the Hugga, there is a rock hewn palace, a red marble hall filled with golden mummies, and a queen, a beautiful queen whom I love. Who made me kill my best friend? Yes, I did kill him. I know I did. Don't bother getting up, Andre. I brought you some good news. I thought it might help you sleep. You've been acquitted. I knew they wouldn't believe me. Well, they don't think you killed your friend. In time, you won't think so either. But if I wasn't in Atlantis. Then where was I for three months? Well, probably picked up by some friendly tribe, burning with fever. Dreams seem real enough for a while, but fortunately, time makes them fade. I just picked up this Tuareg outside the South Wall, sir. I understand. Peace be with you, Lieutenant Seftavit. Peace be with you. Egali. Release this man, Sergeant. Release him, sir? You've heard the order. Release him. Captain had his camel saddled about an hour ago and rode out into the desert. What? Why didn't you inform me immediately? You knew Captain Sonovit wasn't to ride out in the desert alone. My lieutenant, I... Better get a patrol, Mata. We've got to find him. Yes, sir. 